Vista Merkit here and today I've got a short PHP tutorial showing you how to export and take data from pretty much any website. Uh, all I've got here is a basic one which I found which is a kind of a good example for it. Um, it's called TriviaCaf.com. Not only can you use the random page but down the side it seems like they've got a whole lot of random uh, other trivia stuff and questions. Um, question of the day, things like that, question of the week similar stuff which you can pull and use for your own uh, like it kit. so what we'll do is I'm going to use a website called PHP Fiddle to run my code obviously it's nice and simple you can run code in the browser and things like that but you don't have to copy me um, you can use your usual program which you write code in and stuff like that I'm just going to personally use this for the video uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy the URL for the site you want to take from and we'll right click and view the page source because that's what we need to do uh, in a second so we'll come into this and we'll declare page and that's going to be equal to file get contents and it's going to have our URL in it so now page is going to contain everything that we see in the source uh, to show you that if I just echo page um, and run it you should just see sort of a copy of the website a uh, little bit of errors because we can't get the images and things like that but you see the idea we've got the source of the page stored in page um, so what we want to do is find the quote and you see it's both of the Oscar winning pictures the thing is because it's random each refresh it changes so you can see here's the question we've got if I refresh the page see the question changed so that's the good thing about this because it's random uh, and also they have an answer show answer so it's dances with the wolves uh, you can see the answers here you could take the answer as well if you want if you personally want to copy this idea of this video the answers here as well for you to split but I won't show you split in there just because I, once I show you once you should be able to uh, have the idea of it and do it yourself and um, so what we'll do is we'll make one split and that's going to be equal to explode and if you don't know what that is or you're not familiar with it it's essentially the equivalent of a split function in most other languages so it's going to split somewhere and hold an array of each kind of side of the split or splits if there's multiple uh, matches uh, so what we're going to do is if we keep refreshing the page you'll notice that all the time this part doesn't change the left side of it so we'll copy from the question and we want to split from the question and we could split in our, from our page because we need to tell it what we want to split from so basically page holds our source we want to split here out of all of this and we could take the right side of it at the first part now that's good because we've, we've made our first split and we're taking the right side so we've got rid of all of this junk and now we're just left with from here with all the rest now obviously that's not good enough we want to cut it off at the end of it which is at these double br tags right here and uh, just keep this part here the good part um, so instead of cutting or making another split in a low uh, a line below instead of cutting at the page we can have an explode inside of it and this time we'll split at the cap the capital brs in this case so you need to pay attention to the source because every website is different so each time you can't just copy this one for each website you need to change it to the bit you want to take obviously so we'll, we'll explode it from here this time and we'll now we'll go from the page this time we'll take zero the very first part of it and I'll try to explain that as best as I can so uh, if we just focus on this part for now uh, or this part right here the very first split it's, it's taking it from the BR tag and it's taken the first part so imagine we've just split here now we've got part 0 which is this side of it and we've got part 1 which is this side of it um, the thing is if we take part 0 we're left with all of this so now this is where this next one comes in we're splitting at the question so because we took 0 we're now this part we're splitting at now here and we're using the number 1 which is going to get this side of the question and we're going to leave be left with this part so now what, what we can do is use echo and echo our split 
we run that, we should see a trivia question. So now each time we run it, it's going to be random because obviously this page or website in particular randomizes it each time. So you can see each time we run that, we've got a different result. And they're all trivia questions. Now depending if you actually want to use this example or not, um, because they're not kind of facts and they need answers, uh, you can make a trivia bot or something like that with it, something useful. And again, all you could do is make a split, probably here. Um, the thing is with this one, uh, you might need to split the whole part because TR, TRTD might be duplicate. You can see it's got 42 matches. So you need to get something that's unique uh, to, to the part you want to take. Uh, basically is what I'm trying to say so you might have to take the whole part um, which is not a big deal which is kind of a bit bit more of an annoyance to use the whole bit so you'd cut there and you'd cut there and you'd be left with your answer now you can display the question and the answer wherever you wish but that's the basics behind making a split taking a bit of code and displaying it so each time and here you have it so this is a random trivia question each time um, if you want the answers, you can. You don't have to. You could just display the questions, but that's an idea. And the same goes for any website. Let's say we went down and we wanted to find, uh, well, whatever else in this source we wanted to find. We could take all these titles if we wanted to, um, everything like that. So it's up to you. Uh, I just showed you how to use the basic explode function and things like that. So. Uh, the rest is up to you and whatever data you might want to take from websites. So it's fairly straightforward. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.